all doing? Welcome to this in live tutorial. Um, so, yeah, sorry I ain't, um, I've not done any tutorials for a while, but I've been really busy in anyway. We're gonna um, just get straight in and do this um, do this beach tutorial. This is um, this is what we're gonna end up looking like. And you can see that I'm on a uh, on my iPad Pro 10.5. It's really cool today but uh, but all the tools and stuff are still the same so we'll go over into Enlight and we're, um, we're going to use this image first and I'll put these images in the link in the description when I forget I always forget just drop me a message in the uh, comments below and I will remember to do them so we're going to start off with this image right here and what we want to do with this image is um, is just go straight to tools so if you haven't got your sidebar up if you like this just tap your um, tap your screen once we finger and um, go to tools and we're going to go to mixer and then we're going to select our second image and the second image is this beach image like so so all I'm going to do with this beach image is just pinch and squeeze and just increase the size of this image and just place it at the top like so and just pinch and squeeze a little bit more um, till I get the image to the size and the position that I want and it's about here like this then I'm going to go to tools at the bottom down here tools and I'm going to go to blending mode and I'm just going to go to seamless and then we'll try overlay so you can try all of these blending modes and dependent on what the foreground color is and the background color is dip will depend on um, what blending mode you use and once you've um, had a little bit of experience with the blending modes you will know which one that generally you want to use so I know on this one the best one to use is this seamless and the reason is because the colors sort of match and we can blend this sand um, into this desktop quite nicely so we can increase or decrease that blend mode by sliding our finger along the screen so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back press tools again and then I'm gonna select this erase but before I select this erase on the left hand side I'm just going to tap, see I've got this image selected, if I tap this image, so I can still move this image. I'm just going to tap off that image, so I can pinch and squeeze and zoom into this image. And all I'm going to do, I'm going to select Erase, and Erase the front of this sand line, like so. Just be careful with the people, um, to make it look a bit more realistic. Pinch and squeeze, just to zoom out a little bit. And just then um, zoom out and if you're not happy with something let's say we wanted to start again we're not happy we just click the little back button as many times as it takes to get us back to the main image or to the start where we started and if we go too far click forward and it takes you forward again little forward button so I'm gonna keep the race selected and I'm just gonna go along the line just to make it look just break the, the beach up a little bit, make it look a little bit more realistic. And I'm just going to zoom out and have a look at that. Looks quite cool, looks quite um, quite blended in quite nicely. So I'm going to click the little tick button up the top right hand side um, of the screen to get us back to this view. Now what I'm going to do from here on in, you can pretty much do what you want with it. You can see that the image is there. All I want to do, as I did with this other one over here, I want to make the C brighter and I want to give it this withered look. So the way we start this is by going to um, adjust and then I'm going to use one of these predefined predefined swatches here. Just use the withered one and then drag down or drag up to as much or to as little of as the withered sort of effect that you want it. I like that it just makes it like a vintage effect. I think it looks quite nice with the wizard. So I've got mine at 37. As you can see, I'm just going to click the little tick button to accept what I've done there. Okay, so I'm going to go back into adjust and I'm going to go to tools. I'm going to select curves on this right hand side. Now with the curves, what I want to do, you can see at the bottom I've got all red, green, blue, the RGB. So spectrum, I want to add like a deep lagoon blue onto this image to um, to really sort of make the seat pop out. So I'm going to select blue and then with this anchor point in the middle, I'm just going to move it down to the left slightly and increase that curve on that blue. But not too much, just sort of that nice arc there. Now with the green, what we're going to do, we're going to go the same way again. 
So we're going to come down to the to the left slightly and increase that curve on that green. And then we're going to go to red and we're going to decrease the curve on this red to give us that nice sort of um, nice deep blue. But we're not finished yet. So I want to go to mask. I want to go to clear because we only remember what we only want to do is apply this to the C. So we're going to go to clear. We're going to see apply is already um, highlighted blue on our screen. So I'm going to pinch and squeeze in. And then with my finger, I'm just going to slide along. Now, if you found this was too slow, you see this is quite thin. We can go set brush. We can go um, size of the brush and increase the size of the brush. Just by sliding our finger on the um, finger along the screen. Select mask again. You see apply is still and selected there and then sort of start applying and you, you notice let me just go back i'm just going to go back a couple of stages if you notice if i just wipe over the people that are in the sea it won't necessarily make them blue see so it's left them if i concentrate on their area it will make them blue so if i just sort of go over that layer once it won't make them blue in the sea but if you concentrate on that area it generally will so I'm not going to go too close to the edges, or you could go close to the edges and sort it out in a little while. I'm not going to go too close to the edges. I'm going to remember to zoom out as well so I can see what I'm doing. And then this is really rough, sort of rough, um, rough effect of the sea that's now coloured in. So now we're just going to tidy it up a little bit. So I'm going to go to wipe. I'm going to zoom in and then slowly wipe the areas that I don't want the C or the color to have affected. You see, we've got this guy over here. Let's get rid of the, the color on him. You see he's actually in the water. But when I've done this image previously, because this is really shallow here, um, this blue doesn't necessarily blend well, but we'll have a look in a second. Do that. Slide along. So if we find this piece here, look, you see that is the actual water. So let's go a little bit closer. And let's just wipe to get that water. And you do have to be careful if you want a good, um, if you want it to look correctly you do have to pay a little bit of attention to detail and get it just right so I'm not going to fill these bits I know I can see this this here I can see that is water but I'm not going to fill it so I'm going to sort of leave it like so I think at the moment um, let me zoom out and have a look um, no um, yeah so okay let's 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 fill it let's, let's just fill that area as well this area also and again when we want to wipe we just wipe that color away like so that is the C pretty much blended in the way I want it to be so I'm going to click the little tick button on the right hand side so that's just done and then I'm going to go to um, you can go to clarity or you can go to adjust or you could add a filter to this I'm just going to add an adjust filter and um, I quite like the ones that add a bit of color so if you go to this clean filter actually let me just show you this go to this clean filter it will sort of really tidy up the edges of the sand um, but this mantis is also quite nice it just makes this nice deep color so when I said about the withered you've got the withered going on in the background but the mantis has just brought out that um, that color depth if you like behind the um, in, over the top of the mantis so I'm oh, sorry over the top of the withered so I suppose you could leave the mantis like that and that's um, quite a cool desk effect you could take a picture of your own desk and, um, and give it a shot and see how it goes so I hope this um, hope you enjoy this video and if you have any comments or any um, any questions please leave me in the comments below and I'll be back very soon with another video catch you soon